Hey what's up guys, Alex here, thank you for checking this video and welcome to the 12th part of the Serious Old tutorial WordPress 101 for beginner developers. Welcome again, in this tutorial we're gonna take a look at the search functionality of WordPress. Um, if you notice in our current status of our team, we already have the search form here with the field and the search button on our sidebar and this is built, this is generated by the widget that we implemented in our sidebar. But what if we want this search form, this usual search text field inside our navbar or at the top of our slider underneath uh, our top navigation, we can implement this super easily thanks to the hooks and functions of WordPress. So let's jump straight to the code and let's take a look. First of all, I wanna access my header because it's where I want to print my search form. And let's say I want the search form just before my content gets print it. So just before the slider and before all my pages and sidebar. So right here, just after the top navbar menu. So let's create another class search for container. Let's close the div and let's use the PHP function or the WordPress function written in PHP, of course, to get search form. Save it. Let's check our front end, refresh, and there you go. We have, we easily included the search form inside a PHP page without passing through the widget in our sidebar. But of course, this doesn't look really good. It's kind of ugly and I don't wanna spend too much time with my CSS to edit this field. I would like this field to be really simple. I would like to remove this search form. I would like to remove the search option. And how can I do it? Just super simple. I can use a custom PHP template for the search form. But let's take a look before at the source code. So inspect the element with my inspector. We noticed that how this form is built is based on the old HTML form formatting tags for my uh, HTML tag. So it's everything is wrapped inside a div and we have the screen reader text for the label and text input and a submit input. But right now we live in the future so we can use uh, HTML5 there is more readable and it's easier and faster to understand for browsers. So how we can convert automatically without touching the source code of the search form, this form into an HTML5 form. Super simple, we can activate a uh, team support to convert our search form from HTML4 to HTML5. So let's just go inside our functions.php file and in the section that I already created with the team support function, we can add another theme support. And in this case, I want the option HTML5 as a first parameter, as a string, I'm gonna state what kind of team support I wanna activate. In my case, I wanna activate the HTML5 support. And as a second statement, I can put an array of uh, variables, an array of strings to say, to say to WordPress, apply the HTML5 formatting to these specific sections of my team. So let's open the array and let's put search for as a string and semicolon at the end. Let's save it. Let's go on our front end reload. And if we still take a look at, you just already noticed that here we have a placeholder that is super nice. <laughs> if we take a look at the source code and we open the search form, we notice that now nothing is wrapped around the div anymore, but everything's wrapped around the label. We have a span class for our search, our screen reader text, and we have just one single input inside the label with the search field and the placeholder and value name 
and title and then we have externally of our label tag our submit button this is the proper formatting for an HTML5 form and we just activated this we simply implemented the team support HTML5 of course these HTML5 functionality has a pretty wide amount of uh, variables that you can implement inside the array and transform specific part of your team into an HTML5 formatting. So let's take a look at this function and implement all the sections that you need. Right now we will keep going with the search form. So as it is right now I don't really like my search form. It's kind of ugly. I want to remove this label here that I don't really need. I want to just leave the form and I want to implement the uh, bootstrap CSS formatting so instead of creating a specific class for this input I can just type the class inside this um, text field and I don't really want the button I don't want to really want the button or if I want the button I can I want that as a magnifying glass icon on top of my text field so I want to make it just a little bit prettier than it is. How can I do it? I cannot like physically access the search form because I implemented the search form inside my header just with with this PHP function, with this WordPress function. So I don't have access to the native HTML5 that WordPress generates inside this function. So to do that, I can create a custom template to build my own search form. To do that, just go into your root of your team, of your team folder, and create a new file called searchform.php. Now, because we just created this searchform.php, WordPress, instead of using its native search form, is going to look and is going to include this searchform.php file that I created. So we can override the built-in search form of WordPress. Let's create a little bit of boilerplate. And there you go. This is the formatting that I want to use for my search form. So if we take a look, uh, the thing that we have to maintain from the original form are pretty much just two. The first one is the method. WordPress used a get method instead of a post method to submit the form field. And the action has to always points to the home URL of your website. So if your website is www.mywebsite.com, that is the URL that the search form has to point and because we don't want a uh, hard code our URL inside here we can use this home underscore URL function of WordPress to print it anywhere we are inside the pages then the second parameter that we have to maintain is the name of the input field the name is just S one single letter this name is important because WordPress is gonna use this variable to detect what kind of search you did and to use those specific keywords that you inputted inside this text field to activate a search inside the database. Also another important, kind of important, kind of useful variable is the value that by default is going to be empty but if we put this get search query every time a user types something and press enter or click on the search button during the page reload, after the page reload and after seeing the results of our search the terms used by their users are going to be still visible and editable inside the search form. Let's save it let's go in our front end, reload, and we'll see here the search form changed because of course now it's grabbing my search form.php file and if we inspect the source code we will see that we have our option. I implemented the class form control that is the native class of bootstrap for to style a search form. So with this method you can pretty much implement the search form and style the search form as you wish and as you want and you can implement this section 
whatever you want in your website. You want to implement it probably in the nav bar here, like hidden with an icon. If you click the icon, the search form is going to open. You want to implement it inside a specific page. You can do it. You're not limited anymore on using the search form as a widget inside your sidebar. You can put it wherever you want and you're not tied to use the native WordPress function in the native WordPress HTML structure. So let's do a research for like light bulb because I know I use the light bulb and we have our results here for the light bulb post is the only one. If I search lorem, I have the lorem ipsum thing. If I search a, she return pretty much all the posts that they have a letter A and it returns also the home page because I have some text with an A in the home page. So if you notice the results page totally looks like the blog page. So what is happening? Uh, simply because our search form is pointing to our home page, the results page that WordPress is using to print our results of our post is the index.php. And if you remember, I styled my index.php to act like this, with this structure, with this blog post, with this grid, with a uh, huge big featured, and then two, and then a grid of three. So my search results is gonna totally looks like the index, but we can change it. Of course, we're not tied to use the same index structure. We can simply create another page to handle the results of my search query. And this page is gonna be called search.php. Super simple. If we wanna speed up the things, we can simply copy the index functionalities here and we can remove all the gibberish that we created to handle uh, the different columns and the different styling of the blog post. I wanna keep it really, really simple. So I wanna remove these options. I wanna remove this and let's keep it really simple. So this is gonna be our search page structure, super simple. We're gonna have the first column with my results and the second column with the sidebar as like identical as the other pages. But inside here, inside the posts that are gonna come with my result page, with my, with my search query, I wanna use a different content type. I wanna use a different content structure. So I can simply use our beloved functionality to get template part and I'm gonna use content. And the second, I want a, a custom string called search. And right now I have just to create the actual file that I'm calling in the search results. In the file is the content dash search.php. And I can style as I did for all the other content type, this content search.php as I want to return just the specific results of the search page. And because I'm using this content search inside the search result, this new template is not gonna be called anywhere else because we don't have a, a, a post format called search. It's just a, a specific word that I created. You can call this part however you want. Let's style a little bit this content search and just let's print less information as possible, as less information as possible. I don't wanna be too heavy with information. So let's copy the post. Let's paste a little bit of pre-made code from my single post and I have the, come on, I have the article tag. Inside the article tag, I want to print the title because I want the title and I want the post thumbnail to be left aligned and I want to just see the category, the tags and the edit post link. I don't want the content, I don't want anything else and I don't want the comments especially. Instead, I just want the excerpt Save it, reload the page. 
And that's it. This is our search page results with all the formatting that we created with our title, the thumbnail online to the left, and our just excerpt. As you can see, the content of the post is interrupted, is not the entire content. I just have the excerpt, just a little hint, a limited amount of text just to see what the post is about. And I have all my post, all my results here. If I do a simple search, like, of course, I search pancakes. I have the results of my pancakes recipe. And as you notice, because by default, we have the get search variable function inside our input file. Every time I reload the page, my search variable remains inside my search form and remains also inside the sidebar search form because it's the same. And because I activated the team support for HTML5, also this search form is formatted as an HTML5 form. So we have all the options that we needed. And also that's it for today is, was a super quick lesson because the search functionality is pretty simple, it's pretty easy to use, but is something really important. Having a search form in your blog, in your custom, uh, in your custom team is really useful for the user to search, easily search content inside your website. And with this, just three file that we just added in our team, we can handle the format of the search, the HTML markup of the search form. We can handle the search results page and we can handle the formatting and the style, the look and feel of the content of every single blog post or page that gets printed inside our search results page. So thank you again for checking this video. If you liked, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you guys on the next lesson. See ya.